One type of data that we've discussed thus far is nominal and ordinal data, and in this video we'll learn how to create frequency distributions, bar charts, and pie charts, all with the use of StatCrunch. So to do that, let's consider the following example, where a survey was taken of 392 homeowners, and they were each asked what area of their home they would most like to renovate. So the possible responses were basement, bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, and living and dining room. And you'll see that those have been coded 1 through 5. So in this example, the variable of interest was which area of the home you wanted to renovate, and that corresponds to a nominal variable. Now if we look at the data set open in StatCrunch, you see that you have one column of data that contains the codes for the areas that should be renovated. So for example, the tenth response had a code of four, so that person responded that they'd like to have their kitchen renovated. Now remember that we had 392 responses, and if we were just to present the data as a column of 392 numbers, we don't get a lot of information from that. So we'd like to use StatCrunch to summarize this data. So let's first start and consider creating a frequency distribution. So with the data set open in StatCrunch, we're going to select Stat, followed by Tables, and then Frequency. In the box that appears, we're going to click on the nominal or ordinal variable for which a frequency table should be created. And when you click on that variable, it's going to pull it into the gray box, and any variable in the gray box will have a frequency table created. Once you've selected the appropriate variable, you can click Calculate, and the following output will appear. So in this output, our first column is the area, which corresponded to what room should be renovated. The column labeled Frequency is the number of responses, corresponding to each of the five areas, while relative frequency is the proportion of responses corresponding to each of the five areas. And these proportions could be changed into percentages, and you would get information similar to what's presented in the textbook. The table actually summarizes the data quite well, but what's more often presented is some type of graphical display. And we have two different graphical displays to choose from. We can either create um, a bar chart or we can create a pie chart. So let's start with the option of creating a bar chart. To do that, we need to select graphics, then bar plot, and we want to create a bar plot from the data that we've got open in StatCrunch. In the box that appears, again, we're just going to click on the variable that we want to summarize. But in this case, we're going to click Next, because as you progress through this menu, you next get the option to select whether you want to display a frequency bar plot or a relative frequency bar plot. If we click Next one more time, we get to the window where we can add an appropriate title for the graph that's going to be created. Once we've added a title, we can click Create Graph, and the following output will appear. So here we have a bar graph for which room these respondents wanted renovated. And if you think back to the frequency table that's created, for example, we had 104 people who wanted to renovate their kitchen, and you notice that that is the height of the bar over the fourth area in our bar graph. We can also create a pie chart for this data. And to do that, the pie chart will also be under the graphics menu. Pie chart is our second option, and again, we want to create that pie chart with the data that's open. In the window that appears, we'll click on area. This is the variable for which we want a graph to be displayed. In this case, you're going to click next several times until you get to the screen where you can add the title for your graph. And once the title's been added, we can click create graph and the following pie chart will appear. Notice in the red box, we have a summary that's similar to the frequency table that was created. So for example, the fourth area of the house was a kitchen, and we see that we had 104 responses, which was what was in the frequency table. 
and this corresponds to 26.53% of the sample.